Bucks, Bucks blog. blog. We're out here at Tugman State Park. It's January 12th. Beautiful day, a little bit of rain, 47 degrees. And guess what started? What's up everybody? We're out here at South Jetty in Winchester, Oregon. Day one or two of the King Tides. We're out here in Driftwood Forest. Look at all the driftwood here. Bear. If you're looking, Bear. this is where to go. Bear. Bear, come. If you're looking for some driftwood, you got some cool carving projects going on. To be honest, the King Tides, this almost high tide is 12.30, high tide's at 1. I thought we would see more. There. Here's a view of South Jetty. There's Triangle Oysters on that side, the oyster farm. You can see the difference from the jetty. King Tide right at about high tide. We might get splashed. Nope, we dodged that one. Looks like a nasty storm off the coast. It's supposed to be gusting up to 25, 30 miles an hour today. Just south of South Jetty is South Umpqua Point. say eight to ten foot seas but no king tide yet we'll keep you posted wait till you see the huge buoy we found this will give you some scale of the size of the big old buoy it is monday martin luther king day everybody's freezing inland it's 45 degrees out here at william tugman state park we had our friends out. We had the Julians, which just left. I missed them. They're at B34. Then you got the Bucks. And you got the Hallmans, and they're in their pack up mode. You've never been out here to Tugman State Park, just north of North Bend. Not a bad park. It's got some small sites you could see, and it's got some deeper sites. It's got a standard site includes power and water. We are in the B loop. No sewer, but they do have a dump station available when you leave. Give you an idea, most of the sites are on the average 40, 45 feet. This is a handicap site, you get the brick patio. C loop is closed. It's like January, middle of January. Beautiful weather, sun shining, crows, on sand dunes right across the way William Tugman State Park I think it's considered Reedsport Oregon but it's south of Reedsport outside of Winchester Bay hope you like the blog we're gonna take a walk around Eel Lake it's got a lake here next to the park by the day use area it's a mile and a half walk. Me and the wife are going to kick it there in a little bit. We'll catch you from the trail. All right, right here at William Tugman State Park. We're going to show you the day use area, Eel Lake. Give you a quick uh, peek at the dump station. We've got a nice dump station right over there. Pull your trailer in. Bear's going to set the lead. I'm going to show you the trail. It was a little too wet yesterday on the trail around the lake. We'll see what it looks like today. the day use parking it's like there's some people out here it's january 15th 42 degrees lakeside oregon 
think this is called Eel Lake. Nice play structure, restrooms. You can use a motor boat. There's a loose dog running wild out there. There's my wild animal. Saw some kids yesterday fishing a little stream, which we'll be going over in a little bit, and they were uh, fishing for steelhead, and they landed one. A couple lab-looking dogs. There's somebody with one on a leash and one without. The rest of the state is in snow and ice right now, and we are with some unseasonably warm 42 degree weather. The sunshine. It's like we got some kayakers out there. Beautiful day. Eel Lake Fist Passage and Trap Facility. No fishing for 200 feet. The lake trail. So there's lamprey eels in the lake. I guess that's why they call it Eel Lake. This is where we saw the boys catching the uh, steelhead right here. And this is the first place you can technically fish from that fish ladder, which I just showed you guys a video of. Well, let's check out the trail. Should be good. Can't go off leash because there are other dogs ahead of us. So we'll be wrangling the dog. So we're out here on the Eel Trail, Eel, Eel Lake Trail, and we come across all these different mushrooms. Now I think that these ones might be turkey mushrooms, but I'm not sure. Some of them look pretty weird. Look at this big tree over here. And the mushrooms that are growing on it. If you slow down in the woods as you're walking on the trails and not always being worried about your destination and enjoy what's around you at the moment, you can find it all just, kinds of really cool things. Yeah. middle of January. Beautiful day. The rest of our state is in snow and sleet. Rice Hill on I-5 is frozen up. We're out here in Lakeside, Oregon. 43 degrees. Beautiful sunshine. Nice day to get out and walk the trail. Old growth. and a never-ending dog that pulls. There. A bench for you, about halfway in. Give you a shot of the lake. There's the boat ramp right across from us. Beautiful day. 
Nice well manicured trail. Here in Oregon, we grow some of the tallest, straightest trees. Oregon and Washington has fantastic tree growing seasons. Come across a nest because there's some guana, some bird poopy. Can't quite tell where the nest is. It's up that tree somewhere. You can see where the poop's hitting. No. Beautiful. about a mile in on the mile and a half loop up and then a mile and a half loop back on the same trail. Beautiful, beautiful area. If you've never been out to Eel Lake, come out to Eel Lake and check it out. salmon steelhead and lamprey fishing. I don't know how good lamprey eels taste. Might have to look up a recipe. That's probably the only thing I'd be able to catch. Getting to the end of the trail on the halfway point. We got one cup in front of us. There's a couple bucks out there. I don't know if you can see them. Beautiful day. I feel like Steve Irwin, except I'm not wrestling crocodiles. We'll be back with you later, mate. All right, we're almost two miles into the hike. Mama's getting tired, so we're gonna wear a bear out and head our head on our way back. Here comes the wild dog. Where's mama? Go get mama. Go get mama. Go get her. Where's mama? Go get her. Mama's about an eighth mile down the trail. This is probably his 10th trip, full bore, back and forth. So what you gotta do when you got a lab because he'll just wear you out dragging you around the four mile hike. Bless his heart. Waterfalls! Eel Lake Trail, a lot farther than I thought. It says three miles, thinking that it's a mile and a half up and a mile and a half back. No, it's three miles down, three miles back. Long trail, still passable, mid to old January. There is some mud, some roots you have to be careful for. There is some transition up and down. My review of Tugman State Park, I'm giving it three and a half stars. The bathrooms are a little rough. There's a bunch of cam posts that are off duty. Six cam posts I counted, only one of them that was working. And he was a little on the cranky side, but all in all, nice place. Very nice recommended place. Thanks for watching. Here's some of the rates behind us and some information as well. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. See you again soon. See you again soon.